release of Windows 11 is right around the corner with an estimated release date in late 2021. However, Windows 11's system requirements have been a little bit controversial. As of right now, Windows 11 will require a minimum Intel 8th Gen Coffee Lake or AMD Zen Plus or Ryzen 2000 series CPU. It also requires TPM 2.0. TPM is a security device on the motherboard or CPU that stores encryption keys for hardware authentication. For example, TPM is used when you have a BitLocker encrypted storage device. The TPM requirement has led to confusion as many older motherboards do not support TPM and require you to physically install the module onto the motherboard. In this video, I'll show you how to check if your system will be compatible for a Windows 11 upgrade, as well as how to enable firmware level TPM in your BIOS if it's disabled. So we're going to be using this program called Why Not Win 11 to check if our PC meets the minimum system requirements for Windows 11. Uh, Microsoft used to actually have its own program, I believe it was called the PC Health Check, and that would actually check if your PC met the minimum system requirements for Windows 11, but it was actually pulled for a few reasons. Uh, so we're going to be using this program, Why Not Win 11, to check if our computer can run Windows 11. So just scroll down to where it says download, and then click on download latest stable release and you can save it wherever you want on your computer. It's a portable app, so we don't need to install it. Once it's done downloading, we can just click on the EXE and it's going to run a few modules just to get our PC's information and it's just going to open and it will tell you whether or not uh, your PC meets each individual uh, system requirement. So these uh, system requirements are based on currently what we know. So I believe they update this app every single time. Uh, Microsoft releases some information on the or any change to the minimum system requirements for Windows 11. So you can see here that the results are based on the currently known requirements. And you can see for me, all the boxes here are green. So my computer meets the minimum system requirements for Windows 11. So if the box is green, that means that individual component or that requirement is met. So if there's any box that's red, that means that that requirement is not met. And if the box is yellow, I believe that means it might be compatible or it's currently unknown and that might change. If you hover over the eye icon at the end of each requirement, it will give you a little bit more of a definition slash information on each requirement and why or why not your computer does not meet this requirement. And here is another example of Windows 11 compatibility on my laptop, which is an Acer Swift 3. And you can see that all the requirements are met here, except for CPU compatibility. And that's because my laptop has an i5-7200U, which is an Intel 7th gen KB Lake processor, which is just one generation below the minimum, which is an Intel 8th gen CPU. So it shows up as yellow as it's not a listed compatible CPU. However, Windows 11 should still run fine as, you know, it's only one generation below the minimum. And as Windows 11 continues to be developed and beta tested and, uh, you know, by the final release, more CPUs should be listed as compatible with uh, Windows 11. If your TPM version shows up as red or incompatible, it could just be possible that you have it disabled in your UEFI BIOS. All modern AMD CPUs and most modern Intel CPUs have a firmware level TPM. And once the announcement came out that Windows 11 required TPM, Many motherboard manufacturers created guides on how to enable it in your BIOS, and I'll link a few in the description below, but I'll also show you how to enable it on my MSI motherboard. To enable TPM on an MSI motherboard, go ahead and restart your computer, and just before your computer boots back into Windows, press the delete key on your keyboard to head into the UEFI BIOS. Once in the BIOS, head over to Settings, Security, then Trusted Computing and make sure that security device support is enabled. If you have an AMD CPU, make sure that AMD FTPM switch is set to AMD CPU FTPM. And if you have an Intel CPU, make sure that TPM device selection is set to PTT. Now go ahead and save your changes and exit the BIOS. So once you've enabled TPM in your BIOS, it should now show as green in Why Not Win 11. You can see that TPM2 is detected. And one more check you can do to make sure that TPM is enabled is to come down here to the start menu and then type in ppm.msc and then open up this program here. It has an icon with a chip and a key and go ahead and open it and it should open the TPM management on local computer window here. And as long as you see the TPM manufacturer information and the status shows as the TPM is ready for use. Uh, your computer should have TPM, TPM is enabled in your BIOS or you have a TPM uh, module uh, on your motherboard. If you don't have TPM, this would show up as an error or, or it would say like TPM uh, is not found. 
So that's basically all there is to it to determining if your PC will be ready for a Windows 11 upgrade when it releases or if you'd like to go ahead and try out the Windows 11 Insider builds. Also, I wouldn't worry too much if your PC does not currently meet the minimum requirements for Windows 11. The requirements are more than likely to change before the final release as more hardware is beta tested on the OS. Back when Windows 10 was released, Microsoft made the upgrade free from Windows 8, 8.1, and Windows 7 to try and get as many people on the operating system as possible, as this will result in more people using Microsoft services like the Microsoft Store, Xbox Live, OneDrive, and just other services that Microsoft can profit on. So I would imagine Microsoft would want as many users as possible using Windows 11. Also, if you still can't update to Windows 11, Windows 10 will still be supported by Microsoft and will receive security updates until October of 2025. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If this video helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.